Happy Easter, Rack of Lamb on tap today. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. And what I wanna to do today is something extra special, not just your regular rack of lamb. What we're gonna to do today is we're gonna do a Parmesan herb crusted rack of lamb. We're going to sear it first on one side. We're gonna set it up for two zone cooking, meaning indirect on one side, direct flames on the other. So, sort of. Anyway, you'll see what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a phenomenal meal. It's really easy to put together and you are going to wow your guests with this meal. So, if you're ready to wow your guests with this meal, Let's get started. So what we have here is we have two beautiful racks of lamb. And what they are is they're called Frenched. What Frenched means is that they've cleaned the bones off of the top of it. For one thing, it makes a beautiful presentation. The next part about it makes it real easy for handling and flipping when it's on the grill. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper, and we're gonna put a really nice sear on it. So let's put some charcoal in this grill and get it started so we can get this rack of lamb on tap. So what you have here is we're gonna have a two zone setup. No heat on this side, all the heat's here. And you can see we have some charcoal left over from our previous cook. I'm gonna light up some starters, put this in here, and we're gonna pour some fresh charcoal right on top. Today, we're gonna add some of our premium lump charcoal on here because we're doing a shorter cook. This is only gonna be about a 45 minute cook. So, I'm gonna load some right on top of there. Whoops. Now, while our fire is building up, I wanna show you a little bit about the setup that we're gonna use. Okay, so what we have is our expander setup. And a couple of new products that we're carrying here I want to show you about that we're going to use today that are really awesome. This one is a product by SNS Grills. It's available on our website. And what it is is a stainless roasting pan with a rack in here. And it fits perfectly into the extra large ex uh, egg. This side, on the indirect side, we're going on the, actually I consider it to be the direct side, but we're going to use this instead. Um, we're going to sear this on this beautiful cast iron half moon. So these are both available. They really work great. This thing is excellent for searing. And when you're doing two zone cooking like this, normally you think of direct fire and indirect. This is kind of both indirect, but all the heat's coming from this side. So the cast iron is gonna heat up really hot, where this side's gonna be more like a regular oven kind of roasting temperatures. All right, we're almost at 400 degrees on the big green egg. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this lamb all prepped up. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just coat a little bit of oil, some salt and pepper, that's it. Salt, pepper, and we're gonna sear it on that cast iron. What that does, it locks in all the flavor, locks in all those juices, and it caramelizes, it's called the Maillard effect caramelizes that outside and gives it a nice little brown touch. It's gonna to add a lot of flavor in the end. So we do some oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. Okay, so we're at 400 degrees. So we're gonna put a little coat of sunflower oil on here. And we are going to sear this lamb. So here we go. Now that we're all seared, and I sincerely love the way that that went, we are gonna put together our mixture. We're gonna start with one cup of pre-shedded Parmesan cheese, one cup panko breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of this beautiful fresh chopped rosemary, three tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley, three teaspoons of chopped fresh thyme, two tablespoons chopped fresh basil. We're gonna add four cloves of minced garlic, a little bit of olive oil, and some salt and pepper. All right, we've got our beautiful mixture all made up. Nice and supposed to be like a paste almost consistency. So like, so it'll stay together like that. So it's nice and oily. So next thing we do, coat our beautiful lamb racks here with this beautiful cheesy mixture. I got my meter thermometer we're gonna put in here. It's gonna be, we're gonna cook this to about 120 degrees. Once it hits 120, we're gonna pull it off. We're gonna loosely tent it in foil and let it come up about to 125, 128 degrees for a nice medium rare lamb chop. Mwah, it's gonna be so good Easter dinner like you've never had. <laughs> it's getting there that time. The Easter bunny has arrived and dinner is ready. Let's pull these babies off. They're at 123, went a little higher, so I'm gonna let them rest still and still carry a little carryover temperature, but look at this. <gasps> is that beautiful or what? The last step we're gonna do before we carve these beauties, we're gonna loosely tent them with foil, let them have a little bit of carryover cooking. So we get up to about 125, 128, something like that. So we'll do that, we'll come back, we'll carve them, and then we feast.
Parmesan herb crusted lamb on the big green egg cannot be beat. That is just gorgeous. I mean, so beautiful, so cheesy. The outside, that crust got nice and crusty, nice and brown. Word of advice, be a little careful when you're slicing it. That crust can kind of come off. You want the, all that flavor to stay on there because it is just phenomenal. Look at it, the cheese browned up nicely. I think it's time that I take a bite. Yeah! Full disclosure, okay? I've never been a giant fan of lamb. Just don't really care for it. That, I wouldn't even know I'm tasting lamb. It is delicious. You know that gamey flavor that kind of lamb can have? Well, what we did is we seared that fat really, really well. When you get that funky taste with lamb, it's usually because of the fat. That's why when you see a lamb chop cooked the way it is, they carve off the fat. This took care of that, seared that fat beautifully. Folks, this is an Easter recipe that won't disappoint, I promise you. So. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do eating it because it's fantastic. Well, I got you. If you like what you saw here today, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up right down there. You see the thumb? Go ahead. Just hit it right now. Good job. Anyway, thanks so much. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Remember to get out and grill. Have a happy, happy Easter, and I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.